Schobert not only to Mozart's first matter. Sorry. <laughs> the truth is that Schobert not only is Mozart's first master, but the first real poet Mozart meets on his way. He deeply feels that Schobert, Schobert, I suppose, um, Schobert, I'll call him, uh, will help to let out of himself is in inmost and still hidden being. <coughs> we may think that Wolfgang meets the virtuoso in Franz de Conti's fashionable circles, but above all we know he plays Schubert sonatas again and again. He cannot help noticing the dual movement happening over and over again between the themes and between minor and major modes. He is charmed with this singularly passionate and already romantic music with a uh, heart whole accent echoing real feelings, with French terseness giving utterance to spontaneity and strength. When Mozart comes back to Paris 15 years later in 1777, he makes up, no, he owns up his father, he owns up his father, to having bought Schubert's albums. Unfortunately, <laughs> Schubert has died for 10 years. Dying for 10 years when Mozart is in Paris for the second time. Let Grimm, let Grimm tell us how it tragically happened in the letter he writes in September 1767. St. Louis Day is a tragical day this year. Mr. Schubert, who was famously among the best harpsichord players in Paris, had planned a party with his wife, one of his children who was four or five, and some church friends, among whom was a doctor. Seven of them went and walked through Saint Germain on uh, Large Woods. Do you know that one? Do you know that one? Yeah, well, he picked up some in the woods during, he picked up some mushrooms. In the evening, they go to an inn and ask for mushrooms to be cooked, ask for them to be cooked. <laughs> After inspecting them, the cook assures them that food, they are food stuffs. <laughs> they are food stalls. <laughs> and does not want to cook them. Cut to the quick by this refusal, they all go out of the inn towards another one. <laughs> the Bois de Boulogne. In this way, the head waiter tells them that these mushrooms are no good and does not want to cook them either. As the doctor maintains they are good, a cruel obstinacy draws them out of this inn again and leads them towards their end. They go to Paris in Schubert house. The mushrooms are their supper. The seven of them, including the maid who cooked the dish, and the doctor who was so sure of what he said, fall down. They fall down, poisoned. As they feel bad together, they stay there from 11 in the evening to the following midday without being rescued. They were found lying down on the floor, convulsed with pain and suffering. 
fighting against sorry, the emotion, fighting against death. <laughs> Assistance was useless. The child died first. Sherbet went on living from Tuesday to Friday, August the 28th, 1967. His wife died, but on the following Monday. So that would be 28th, 29th, 30, 1st of September. 1st of September, that one. Some of the poor lads remained still alive during 20 days after the fatal day, but none of them escaped. leaves a penniless child out to nurse. This very talented musician had an easy, brilliant and charming way of playing. He was not such a genius as our Eckhart, who is, who still remains the first master in Paris. But Schubert, or rather Schobert, was more admired than Eckhart because he was always a pleasant man. <laughs> and because everybody is not able to recognize a genius. Schobert's music was charming. He had not his pupil's precious ideas, but perfectly knew the magic of harmony and easily wrote, though Mr. Eckhart difficulty writes genius music. He does not foreign, sorry, forgive anything to himself. Though Mr. Schobert has a completely different, easier mind. He passed away in the prime of his life. Schobert was a Silesian. He belonged to Mr. Le Prince de Conti's musical group, who suffers a loss it will not be easy to retrieve. Not be easy at all. Schobert's death can't be read on any newspaper and yet he is the founder of the French piano school, Johann Schobert. <coughs>